good, y'all. Sean Too Smooth Gang, man. And I'm back here with another video. Back on the sticks. Y'all went ahead and voted for that, man. Thing went up crazy for you, boy. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch back and forth between the My Player Story mode and some episodes of that when we get out of that. And it's just rebuild. Now, probably, depending on, you know, which one's getting looked at more, will be, to, will be which one gets posted more. And also, depending on which one the support's getting, will just depend on if I keep the series going or not. You know, I might stop after I win the Super Bowl because I'm telling you it's not going to take me that long with the Jets, bro. Um, got some stuff I want to go ahead and change as far as the saves and all that. And then some stuff on that I'm going to keep track of. I'll be back at y'all in the uh, preseason. All right, before we get in, actually, before we go to the preseason, I, I guess I'll show y'all my coach build real quick. Uh, I'll change my line. All right, so yes, we are with the Jets. I'm going with the strategist. The biggest way I'm going to build this team is through the draft. Uh, I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, you know, yeah, that Coach Sean Smooth. I like that, Coach Sean Smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and go muscular. Ah, uh, skin tone. Let's see. All right, cool. I kind of look fat a little bit. Um, I don't know what playbook. I don't remember. Anything. Like I told y'all, I've only played one game on this on this thing. So um, yeah. You know what? I'm. I'm gonna see what it's about for right now. I can. You can always go back and change your offensive and defensive schemes. For right now, I'll, I'll keep it as the uh, the Jets offensive and defense. All right. I think I'm. I think I'm found it, man. So we're gonna go ahead and run Seattle offense, Green Bay defense. This is Coach Sean Smooth. Uh, I'm not playing any of the preseason. Uh, I'm gonna go through some of the trainings, play through the trainings, just so we can get those goals. You know, start getting the development up, and yeah, I'll see y'all on cut day. A few moments later. Gosh, doggy, y'all. All right, look, the Jets are already been messed up. I go to try to do the first training, and I don't even have enough people on the roster. Y'all see, it says 57 to 75, but these dudes only have one defensive tackle on the roster right now. Oh my gosh, this, this, this is why. Okay. Mosley out for the year. Sam Fitton out for the year. I don't even, Leo gone. Bradley gone. Docks gone. Kyle Phillips gone. Gone. And gone. Oh my god. Almost everybody is on injury. Yep, all on injury reserve too. Wow. Well, um, looks like everybody's gonna be pretty much going for season up for, except for Karan Brown. Hmm. Interesting. Um, that's gonna be a, a huge problem. This first season is probably gonna be terrible. Uh, but yeah, keep in mind for this first season, at least I'm gonna just sim through the first eight games, see where we're at, and that's probably where this episode's gonna end. And I'll kind of decide what I want to do from here on out. After that, um, we gotta go sign some free agents. Apparently, this team really really has that many that's why they suck y'all over here talking about some their booty cheeks they're bad they has got a whole bunch of injuries that i don't think anybody would want to deal with so i mean i'm not gonna really make this harder than it is i could sit here and look through development traits like i'm going to anyway but i'm probably just going to end up signing the highest overall it's at 140k and i can't even change it oh i got so much cat room but i can't wait to the free agency yeah this whole team getting gone Let's see, let's see. Um, some of this too available. That's not too bad. Come on. Go ahead and pick up two defensive tackles. Uh, and yeah, hopefully there's no more surprises. I'm going to go mess with this depth chart a little bit. And like I said, I'll see you out the cuts. All right, here we are, y'all. Time to cut six players. We got some upgrades. You see the team didn't do at all good at all. Let's see what the upgrades are looking like. I haven't touched the upgrades all preseason, so let's go ahead and look at some of these. Do the same kind of, yeah. Same old, same old, man. Go ahead. I like to kind of keep certain players. I upgrade whatever's the best available, get their overall up. When they get to a certain level, I kind of upgrade other skills to make them more well-rounded. Like here, he's a 75, but that catching traffic is route running is trash. His overall catching is bad. And 
I just don't like the catch rate being so low. So I'm gonna upgrade the slot. That's one of the ones that's the best one to upgrade. If you just want to catch it, of course I don't get catching, but I get plus three catching traffic out of nowhere. Uh, let's see, I see 79. So I mean, he, he needed in that aspect too. Uh, so yeah, this series is really gonna be fun, man, for me. Uh, I love rebuilding teams and taking teams to new levels. It's gonna be interesting to see what I can do with this team. One of the very first things that is going to need to happen is I need a quarterback. I don't trust any of the three on here. I always like to draft my own quarterback at some point. That's why I often take, take teams that don't have one, uh, rather than taking a team with the quarterback and just having to wait a couple years before they retire. So yes, all three quarterbacks are probably gonna get going. The third stream for sure will be up out of here. Hold on. That's James on. But yeah, uh, James Morgan, the third stream quarterback on here, gone. Flacco. Maybe. Sandor for sure. One of those two will stay though. Um, whichever one I feel like I want to be my backup quarterback, which might be Sandor because he's younger. It depends on who's on contract. Longer. Yeah, it definitely depends on who's on contract longer. So that way I can have a backup quarterback and not have to worry about it for a good amount of time. And I don't know, I'm going to try to find the, um, what's it called? The current draft class, before we go ahead and get too deep into the season, I'm gonna, I think I gotta back out and download it uh, real quick. I'll get that, get the new draft class in here, and I'm, I don't know, man, I've been watching some college football, I don't know really who who I wanna get. Justin Fields is probably not gonna, probably gonna be the pick. Uh, we're probably gonna get the first overall pick, because this team is trash. Uh, if it's looking like that, I may not play again, just, Go ahead and solidify that first overall pick just so I can make sure I get Justin Fields. But let's go ahead and get to these cuts. One of y'all two got put. Y'all both 22, both 66. Oh, Ty Johnson, you're faster with more acceleration. So practice squad, it is for you. Got seven on. Just Smith, you went to the practice squad. I don't need seven. Next. Might have to switch that up. First, second, third. I don't need four tight ends. I for sure don't need nobody that's 31 overall. Bye. Cut. Cut. That's cool. Middle linebacker. Oh, let's wait. One, two, three, four. Peace. He told you that one of these quarterbacks is going home anyway. Uh, James Morgan. Sorry, G. I'll just go ahead and cut you so somebody else can get you. You can get your money that way. Now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and advance. Pass that on the week one. Get things kicked off. Uh, I'll be right back. Save it. Go download this uh, real time draft class. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right, y'all, I'm back. So let me go look at my schedule. See where my bye week is. Oh, look, playoff picture. That was an update that they uh, went ahead and did. Looks like my, oh, my bye week is 11. Uh, we might just go all the way up to the bye week. Uh, I don't foresee making any trades, not to the off season, because like I said, we only have two quarterbacks. I should have kept one and, and traded. But that's beside the point, man. So we're just gonna go through this. I'm not gonna worry about any re-signings. Uh, probably might scout though. I uh, definitely probably will do that still. I'll worry about re-signing in the next episode. We'll start things off by re-signing some people back after I take some time to really sit down and figure out my plan for this team. Uh, I'm sure, to slow them down. Even though I know we ain't going to. Uh, I don't even know who they're talking about. Away from white. Oh, uh, we failed that one. I already know. So my season goal for this year is four wins. I don't even think we're gonna get that, to be honest with you, but it's a very low chance of being fired. So I get to, you know what I'm saying? You're expecting a challenging season with the focus on long-term team building over short or over short-term success. Exactly. Cause we got to suck. Y'all yeah, about to see. Uh, I'm not even gonna touch the upgrade games until we get there, man. Let's, let's just run through these weeks. Oh yeah. L week one. 
Uh, I'm gonna interact obviously with these things. Uh, I decided not to do the trains this year. I just realized that I'm about to go get a new quarterback anyway, so I wanna do the trains with him. Uh, we're gonna run through 40 straight games and I'm gonna show y'all the box score. Ooh, y'all, a dub. A weekly award and a breakout player chance? What happened? Sam Donald, 244, four touchdowns. Pulled two interceptions? Okay. Y'all messing up my plan, but I mean, the 49ers are trash in real life right now. They kind of blue cheeks. Uh, Bashar Perriman wants to upgrade, so let's see Let's see if he can do it. Uh, like I said, I'm not going... In a normal situation, when we get to like me actually playing past this first season, I will play those if they come up. Uh, oh, another thing too. If I play a game, it's only going to be one game in the, uh, in the episode. If I start the game, start the video off with a game, then we'll simulate a little bit before to the next game that I will play before I end the video for y'all. So I'm not going to leave y'all no cliffhanger like that, like that. Uh, time to scout. Do a little bit of scouting. Download from Madden Shares. Uh, shout out to. What's the username? If it shows me, I'll tell you. Ah, oh, dang, I already had it. Uh, anyway. Shout out to this dude right here. Uh, what's it? Draft. Bengal. Shout out to you, Bengal. Uh, whoever you are. You know, apparently it's the most downloaded one. Uh, let me go ahead and. Uh, let's see. Because I already saved it one time, I forgot to hit the right button. But. You know, shout out to him getting this draft class on here. Let's see how, ooh, okay, yep. Definitely a realistic people. Look at that, five quarterbacks in the top six because that's really how these boys have been playing. Uh, me personally, uh, from what I've seen of all these rookies, Mac Jones definitely deserves to be higher than the sixth quarterback. Kyle is good. Zach's been playing out of his mind. Trey, I haven't, heard, I haven't seen too many highlights on you. Obviously, Trevor Lawrence is Trevor Lawrence, but Y'all know my number one, I mean, I'm a still scout, though, you know, I ain't stupid. But Justin Fields is main target right now. Uh, obviously, I'm a, I'm a scout all all of them. Shoot, you see what they got? Oh, my gosh. Um, and yeah, I'm getting one of these quarterbacks, though. There's no way I'm not getting one of these six quarterbacks. Somebody's getting picked up, uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, is running back really a need right now? I'm gonna save my 20 points. I'm gonna save the 20 points. I wanna re-look through my roster and everything and really see what my points of needs are before I just start scouting like crazy. So on that note, week three. All right, y'all, so it looks like we lost. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess the breakout chance didn't work. Uh, I don't think I would, yep. So he didn't get it, which sucks. That would have been a great early season development. Here's what happens sometimes, you get two of them back to back. So let's see if Corey Ballantine can get, I think I said his name right, I'm about to get flamed in the chat. See if he can go ahead and get his against the Broncos this week, uh, Thursday night game. When it comes to these things, I always think it's better to have rest over uh, preparation. Rest over preparation, easy, because it helps those injury, uh, look, plus seven morale for the team. Sometimes it'll give you an injury resistance boost, which is good, I don't gotta worry about my players getting hurt. Um, let's go ahead and get the scouting in one time. I went ahead and looked at the roster real quick. There's a lot of needs. Running back is definitely one of them. Uh, I'm gonna try to scout all of these dudes. Uh, we got a bunch of scouting points over the course of a long season. Obviously, we gotta list top needs over what real or what we can wait on. Um, do I think running back is a position to wait on? Probably. And there's a lot of them. There's 23 of them. Because also, I need to go. I need to scout my fullback so I can figure out which one I'm gonna get. We need, I'd like to get one more receiver. I'd love to get a high end tight end. And I don't know if this would be the year for it. They all vertical threats though, that's good. I need a right tackle. I need a defensive tackle. I need a left outside linebacker. I'd like another middle linebacker. I need a corner. Other than that, we're pretty good though. Uh, all that was needs, but you know, the defense wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So I'm gonna tell y'all more about it in the week four. And here we go, y'all. Told y'all after this week, I let y'all start seeing the box scores. Caught a L, 27-20. It looks like that run run defense was trash. Our pass game was good, though. Let's see what the... Oh! 
They done picked up Kaepernick. Okay, he's finally back in the league as he should be. Shout out to you. Let's see. Oh, he threw the ball great against us, though. Melvin Gordon, Phil Lindsay did their thing. Uh, let's look just at our team. Frank Gore, like I told y'all, ain't dancing. Need another one. Chris Hogan looks to be my number one receiver after that game, boy. Blocks. Okay, Patrick leading the team in tackles. No sacks, no ITs. Let's run things back to the other three games, get y'all caught up. So here, obviously we took the L. Pass game, tragic. Yo, we can't do it. We let Josh, I mean, he good in real life, but. Man, wait till I start playing these games, bro. He is not doing that to us. Frank Gore had a great game. Crowder did good. What was the defense like? Marcus May, our safety led. No sacks, no INTs. That's why we ain't going nowhere, man. We ain't getting no sacks, no INTs. <clears throat> I ain't even let y'all see the box score, man. I, I was playing. This was the one game that we did win. Showed out. Run D was on point. Pass D was on point. Managed to get two INTs off the kid. Uh, let's see. Frank Gore again. What? <clears throat> I do it off of 126. This was the week where his quarterback got player of the week. But dang, I didn't know he did that good. Okay then. Perryman 72, two catches. Henderson one. Earned, earned, earned it. Earned it. I'm about to get flamed again. Oh Lord. Alright. Cashman let us in tackles. I don't know who you are. Half a sack, half a sack. Is that my backup in the linebacker? That is. That's my backup. Is he getting all that playing time? Anyway, lost here to the Colts. So oh, why? How? Why and how did we lose this team, bro? We played great defense. We had no offense. He has made a count. 203, three touchdowns, 220 touchdowns in the interception. Or no touchdowns in the interception. Lord didn't do much or anything. Crowder pretty much only hold there. Defense, no sacks, no line teams. It's gonna be a long season. We're gonna get through these next four Cardinals, Chargers, Bills, Chiefs. I say we win. No games. I'm gonna come back and show you the box score. Uh, I got breakout players and frustrated players. I know he didn't do it. Yep. Angry, you ain't do your job. Next, what are you mad about? Who is it? Jameson Crowder, what? What do you want? No promises. We booty cheeks. Plus five more out for the whole team, but he unhappy. So, so what? Stop being a diva. I can't please everybody. Let's get to this scouting because you know I need it. Where are my running backs at? There y'all is. All right, anybody good later on? Look, look at all these A's. Okay, I see a bunch of A. A, A, A. I ain't never seen so many A's this low into the draft class. I like that. I like this draft. Bengals, I like your draft classes. Injury report. Who got hurt? CJ Mosley. I think he's already on here. Though. Maybe not. There he just took me to the first person. Dang. You know, my arm. Ashton Davis. You know, seven weeks. You know, Oof, this, this injury list is long. It is very, very pause long. Okay, there we go. A dub, 14-10. Uh, yeah, now he's not even that mad no more. Uh, I guess we threw the ball a little bit more to him. We can check his stats here in a second. Uh, here it is. Gave up way too many yards to them. It didn't have nearly many yards, so. I guess it's a redemption for last game. Frank Gore, 15 for 59. Let's see what it, okay. Crowder, 6%. They normally want you to just give them five receptions or 100 yards or a touchdown will, will count and they'll be all right. So that's good to see. Pool let us in tackles again. I think we had any, still, no, oh, we did have a set. Oh, there we go. Quinn Williams got a sack this game. No INTs. Defense, not, not looking too good. All right, here we go. Ah, we lost. Ah. So uh, I obviously won't show uh, the scouting every week. You know, I showed enough of it, I think, the first couple of weeks, and I explained kind of what we need. Uh, so y'all probably won't see that again until 
maybe later in the season when I can show you my full draft board and everything I scouted. So I won't bore y'all with that. You know, I know some of this stuff can ain't for everybody. Uh, not everybody's gonna really love it. Playing the Bills again though. The last time we played them, we got beasted and feasted. Um, and I really don't see us doing any different this game. Our defensive tackle wants to break out chance, but we 0 for 2 so far this season on breakout chances. So I don't see him doing anything either. Uh, let's just go ahead and I'll see y'all next week after the L. And y'all see it. Yet again, another L. This season is going exactly how I planned, and I'm not mad at it at all. Ooh! But he somehow got his development trait. Y'all see it in the background. He is now a star development player for Lorenzo Futters. Um, my starting defense tackle. We'll put it at that. 20,000 XP goes along with it. I mean, that's that's probably the brightest part of our season and probably is going to be the brightest part of our season because the, I'm telling y'all, these boys ain't good. Um, let's see, what, what do you want, Chiefs? They're giving us the 17 a game, but that might be all we need. If we can find a way to put 17 on board, very kind of our defense can help you. Commit to scoring two touchdowns. Good. Scoring three touchdowns. Challenge defense to step up. Man, you see some of these scores? Challenge need to step it up. You're right, the defense is so good, but I challenge you to do be to be better. So you hold them to two touchdowns or less. Let me worry about the offense, okay? Yeah. Challenge you back. He's coming after my offense. I know they bad. Eight games into the season and we've won two. That's another hell. I'll go ahead and go through these messages in the background while I'm talking, but I hope y'all uh, see the two different type of ways I'm trying to do this. Um, I was in the beginning, I showed some of the box scores. Let me know if you want me to do that style. I'll actually do it more so like after every single game instead of after every four, we get past this season. Uh, or if you'd rather just not see the box score, if you don't really care about that side of it, I'ma still look at it and just not show y'all. Cause I want to see it. My defense look rough. I'm calling a players meeting to create some accountability on defense. What position group do you think he's addressing? We get no pressure. Defensive line, step it up. We get no sex. Like, really, we don't get no sex. I need them to step it up. Uh, like I said, just let me know what y'all want, want me to do. Uh, whether you want to see the box score in the simulated games or not. All right, sorry y'all, camera died. I have to go ahead and grab a new battery. I will manage it. But let me know if you want to see the box scores or not. Uh, since I'm not showing them right now, I might go ahead and just skip past these two to the bye week unless something entertaining happens between now and next game. Uh, so, yeah, catch y'all there. Oh, snap, y'all. I had to bring y'all back for this one. We actually got a dub. The players only meeting, I guess, work. Uh, I don't know if they did anything good. Oh, defense still looks terrible. But the players only meeting did something because we finally got another dub. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep talking while we do this. I, 24 to 17 on these Patriots, boy, that, that is instrumental. Uh, not really, because I'm, I'm trying to tank. So I didn't need y'all to win. Stop winning when I don't need you to. I don't know how. I really don't know what kind of pick we're going to get this year. They're playing so inconsistently. I don't know what the record's going to be. We got three. I think we're like three and six right now. I actually didn't even see us being that good. I'm, I'm afraid three wins won't even give me a first round pick. Just in real life, that wouldn't give me a first round pick because the Jaguars, luckily, are just as trash. Just slightly not as much trash because they won one game, but still trash. And look at y'all, look at this. I got two first round picks. I don't know how. I got two first, a second, two thirds, a fourth, two fifths. And I don't know which pick is ours. It looks like right now, I mean, every consistent pick seems to be the first round. So I. I think we still have the worst record in the league right now. With three wins. Keep in mind, in the actual NFL, in real life, three wins would be pretty considerable going into this week. I still win the NFC East. Here we are, y'all, going into the bye week. Somehow four and six. I don't know how we were so bad, and all of a sudden we just beasted and feasted on the Dolphins. 38-13, out of nowhere. Now they ask me how to handle the bye week. The same thing as a Thursday night game, rest and relaxation. Uh, for sure, uh, I, they really have earned it, no cap, because they've won back-to-back -back two games. There's the plus two injury, plus 17 morale. 
and we come back off the bye, we can play the Dolphins in the next episode. So, like I said, I'm probably not playing any of these games. Ashton Davis, oh, he's coming. He might be coming back. High chance of re-injury. Start the backup then. There's no question. Uh, that's, it's almost always that like it comes up on high chance of re-injury. So, like I said, the next episode will start with me going through the re-signings and seeing who's being brought back, who's not, who's getting let go. Probably a good chance that a lot of people are getting let go. And if you play, like I play franchises with online franchises with some friends, you know I like to backload them from draft picks. This is why. Because you almost always end up in a situation where I might have to let go of all 18 and use every single draft pick I got to go ahead and pick those picks right back or pick those players right back up. We'll see how all that goes in the next one though. We've somehow managed to go go off four and six. Let's see what that is in the standings. We are not last in the division. We beat the Dolphins, and now they probably got the number one pick. I don't know where we sit at. Right now, we're probably about the ninth pick. We were between eight, nine, ten, maybe four and six. We'll see when we come up the bye week. We'll see how the next episode goes, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I've actually had fun just doing just doing this and looking at all this. I'm gonna dive in a little bit deeper on my own. And next episode we come back, like I said, re-signings, we're getting through the end of the season, and we're going to get into our first offseason. Uh, next video, depending on how long it takes me to get through the last couple of seasons, might include the whole offseason, it might include part of the offseason. Uh, I don't know, because that offseason time period is pretty long, and I don't want these videos to get too long. I know y'all be, I don't really got that time span to watch them long videos yet, unless y'all want it. Comment below what you want, long videos, short videos, what it may be. So, hey man, hope y'all enjoy. Please run this up for me. I have the most fun doing this. Man, it's been my game since I was yay high. <clears throat> man, it's been my game since I was yay high. Let me leave that voice real quick. I was a mess up. Enjoy, man. Follow me on all the social media. Go ahead, run them up. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Once again, shout out to that boy Bangle for the draft class. Hey, I can't wait to dive deeper into this season for y'all, man. Player series will go ahead and be coming soon. Y'all go ahead and see that journey as well, but as for now, it's been your boy, Sean. oh my gosh, I forgot my name. It's been your boy, Sean Too Smooth, man. And we out. Peace.